Welcome to my channel Live on Alberta. My name is Kerry and I love hiking. My videos will show you all aspects of the trail and what you can expect to see if you choose to do this hike. Today we'll be hiking to Wapta Falls in Yoho National Park, British Columbia. The trail is 9.1 kilometers out and back with an elevation gain of 259 meters. Well, today we're in beautiful British Columbia and the temperature is minus two degrees Celsius. And we're gonna hike up to Wapta Falls. The road's closed in the winter, so we have to hike in. And there's four cars in the parking lot and only fits about seven cars. And here we go. I got myself some crampons because the cleats aren't cutting it. Oh, we made it up the first little hill. Now it looks like we're going to go down a little bit. Nice path, anyhow. Just looking back and looking forward. Still got some more road walk, but it's beautiful, it's peaceful. Looks like we've made it to the parking lot and the trailhead is just up here. Okay, so 2.4K to the falls. So we walked 1.8K to get here. So it's supposed to be just under five out and back to the falls. So so tack on almost another 4K. So when it's all said and done, should be just under 9K out and back. Nice little straight stretch here on the trees. That's almost like we're in a little tunnel here. Well, the trail's been flat for the most part. Now we're going up a little bit. We're 3.1K in. There's the river. Look at those beautiful mountains there. Sunshine on them. Trails leveled out. Actually, going down a little bit now, which is okay. We're 3.8K in. 
and we've made it to the overlook. Look how clear that water is. Just amazing. Look at that. Absolutely magnificent. Now we make our way down to the falls. Absolutely spectacular. You can hardly wait to get down there. I guess we gotta go up to go down. This is going to be unbelievable. Yeah, make sure you got cleats, crampons, or you'll find this part very difficult. Look at that. I didn't I didn't know they were gonna be so big. One last steep section here. We're 4.2k in, and we've made it to the falls. Looks like I can do a little bit of exploring here. Look at those rocks there, unbelievable. Getting the mist here. We're going to head up there shortly. Uh. Pretty steep.
So, pretty much had this place to myself. These people just showed up. Another magical outing. And there's even a slide here. A couple of people slid down already. Well, that was awesome. It was nice coming down, but now I have to go up. One last look back, but Wapta Falls. You did not disappoint. Oh yeah, I'm looking straight down. All I can say is wow. I had the place all to myself. The waterfalls were gorgeous. Not really frozen, but some frozen parts. I'm sure on the weekends, this place is a lot busier. If you want to get here, you get here early because literally only seven cars can park in that parking lot. And when it's all said and done, it's going to almost be 10K. So a nice little winter hike with a beautiful destination. So I'm not going to film much going back. It's really not too exciting. But yeah, if you get a chance, come and see Wapta Falls. You won't regret it. Back at the trailhead. So we have 1.8K back to the car. And we're back. Woohoo! In total, we hiked 9.1 kilometers out and back with an elevation gain of 259 meters. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and a comment would be greatly appreciated. In my next video, we will be hiking to the Elephant Rocks via Chester Lake in Kananaskis Country, Alberta. It's not spring in the Canadian Rockies. If you would like to see more hiking videos, Subscribe to my channel Live on Alberta where I feature over 65 hikes. Cheers!